At midnight, it happened. 45,000 dock workers went on strike all across the country, including here at the Port of Houston, and they want better wages and job security. Fox 26's Jonathan Mejia is live in Seabrook, where workers are striking. Jonathan. That's right, dog walkers were out here earlier today in full swing, holding up signs, playing music, and making sure their voices were heard. They tell me they want to fight for better wages. Some are still out here at this hour. They also want to put a stop to automations. We're here at Seabrook where ILA workers are taking the picket line and standing up for what they believe is right. You have many of them out here gathering and rallying together to fight against automation. They want to save their jobs. They want more job security. And of course, they are fighting for more pay. Now, we spoke with one of the workers on why he thinks it's important for people like himself to continue working. We need more money to support and take care of our family. And we don't need no robots or nothing out here. We work for our money and we work for our families. And that's why we're out here. Dock workers are striking across the East and Gulf Coast. The strike stems from a months long deadlock in contract negotiations. I stand with organized labor. We cannot eliminate people's jobs. Surely there's room at the table for everyone. The International Longshoremen's Association, which is the largest union for dock workers, is demanding higher pay and protections against automated technology. Let's just deal with the facts. We want a fair contract, fair wages, and we don't want to eliminate jobs without consultation with all stakeholders. All the parties need to be at the table. The strike impact will be felt across the country. Economists say that shutting down of ports could cost the economy anywhere from 3.8 to 4.5 billion dollars a day. It is also impacting the trucking industry. That is going to impact the motor carrier industry, the trucking industry directly. Um, and very specifically, those that are specializing in hauling intermodal goods, those containerized um, boxes that come on those shipping vessels. The ILA say they will not stop fighting for their workers until they get a fair contract. I'm reporting live in Seabrook, Jonathan Mejia, Fox 26 News.